Hey, would you like to learn how to design something like this? Stay in this video, because I'm going to teach you how. Okay guys, before we start, just a quick introduction. I saw this design on Dribble by Chaps. I'm gonna put the link in the description. It catched my attention and I, I see that it was really interesting and I tried to find a way of how to do it in Adobe XD. The images that I use in this tutorial are from Stu, Stu Valinger. He's a 3D artist. He makes really, really nice work. I put, I'll put the links in the description of this video so you can check out their work. Okay guys, in the description of this video is gonna be a folder and that folder is gonna have a file called Card Animation Tutorial Start. You're gonna open the file okay guys these are gonna be the files that we're gonna use in this particular project we're gonna take first this phone background and we're gonna put it in the in the composition and then we're gonna try to align it if we press shift we can actually if we move it the element we're gonna see how to align it you know in the middle of the composition if you're not completely sure you can use the align tools that the composition has let's put it something like that will be fine so it's gonna be like a hundred from the top and then align it in the center something like that will be fine and the next step will be to add this card in the middle of the composition we're gonna center the card something like that and we're gonna try to put it a little bit higher something like that will be fine and we're gonna add the logos to the card the visa logo right here and then the bank logo and then the number of the of the card right here okay we're gonna let's add some background to the design so we're gonna drag the background and we're gonna stretch it out to make it that size that size will be fine we're gonna try to align it and make it kind of bigger something like that and we're gonna right click it and send it to the back perfect in the the options in the option panel so with the background selected we're gonna uh, click the object blur in for the background i'm gonna do it like a maybe like a 25 percent and then i'm gonna i think that we should we should add some sort of a square press command back bracket to send it like back till we see it something like that till we see it like in front of the background but behind the phone design that we have right here we're gonna try to move it something like that and we're gonna try to align it with the artboard and at the top something like this that'll be totally fine i think it'll be fine let's make a little bit to the bottom something like that are you gonna change the the borders to 100 like the corners to 100 pixels so they actually match more with the design and we're gonna remove the border and we're gonna add some background uh, shadow some shadow to the design and it's gonna be 0 30 and then 50 and we're gonna change the background opacity to like a uh, 50% will be fine. Okay, now we have our design and we only need to add this stuff at the top so it looks more like a phone is more, it looks it looks more clean if we have this. Okay, I'm gonna add this at the top. Something like that'll be fine. Uh, let, let me try to align that to the, okay, the composition. So if we press command return, we're gonna see that we have this design in particular. Now we need to go with the animation part of the, of the card because as you can see, it doesn't work. We need to first get a plugin and the plugin, we're gonna go to the plugins part in the design which is here in the plugin so you can press shift command p and it's gonna open the plugins and we're gonna add a plugin we're gonna click in the plus icon and we're gonna click in the browse section and we're gonna put anima we're gonna install this plugin and we're gonna close this because we don't need this anymore we're gonna click the anima plugin and we're gonna we need to log in in the plugin so you're gonna a click in logging and it's gonna pop a window and it says login complete you're just gonna put your google account and it's gonna link with the anima software we're gonna go back to adobe xd and here is when we're gonna start doing the changes in the design let's start by doing the animation of the card it has these options right here and the only option that we're gonna change for this particular project will be the embed code we're gonna click in plus but it says that we need to select a layer for the embed code we're gonna select we're gonna click in our artboard and we're gonna go with the embed code option the last option in the in the plugin section we're gonna click plus and we're gonna go to the website section and here we're gonna try to paste some information that i'm gonna provide you in the description of this video it's just like a google drive file which is called anima code and you're gonna take from the css the style you're gonna copy this style and then you're gonna go back to the uh, Adobe XD and you're gonna paste it. And you're gonna go back to the Google document that I provide you and you're gonna copy the JavaScript library and you're gonna uh, paste it. You're gonna go back to the Google document and you're gonna take the actual JavaScript because this is the library. This is where it's gonna trigger the actions from. It's gonna pull the actual information from that library. And we're gonna use this, this script that is gonna call the function, which is gonna actually trigger the animation of the design when we move the cursor on top of it. And it's gonna look really, really, really cool. So 
I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it underneath and we're gonna click save and we're gonna actually go to the preview we're gonna click here preview in the browser we're gonna create a new project and it's gonna be called card design and then we're gonna click in the workspace my team and we're gonna click create okay and then we're gonna click preview in the browser again and it's gonna process and it's gonna upload the design and then it's gonna show us the design it's gonna show us this draft of the design we're gonna click open so and it's gonna open this page as you can see and it's gonna give us this design which looks really nice but it does doesn't do the actual animation that we're looking for. For that, we need another step. We need to replace the tags that trigger the action of the element. And I'm gonna teach you how to get that. We're gonna right click the element and you're gonna click inspect. It's gonna open the Google developer tools. As you can see, when I move my cursor on top of the code, it's taking part of the code. And the one that I need is just this rectangle called rectangle dash two. In yours, it's gonna say something completely different probably. You're gonna take this code and you're gonna highlight it and you're gonna copy only the code, command C or control C. You're gonna copy that code. We're gonna go back to XD and in XD, what you're gonna do is going again to the embed code we're gonna go back to Adobe XD and here in XD, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the selecting again, the artwork and we're gonna go with the embed code and we're gonna click it and we're gonna click in the website part again and whatever it says replace, right? We're gonna go with this text that we already copy, the rectangle text that we have right here that, that we're gonna copy it and we're gonna try to paste it without removing the period, command V in that rectangle part, in that part where it says replace, there is another part here that says replace and then I believe there is one that it says var variable original and you're gonna say the sign and you're gonna be replaced here too or you're gonna click command v really really simple and you're gonna click save we're gonna get click again preview in browser and we're gonna click open and here we have our awesome design with the card animation as i showed you in the beginning thank you so much for watching and if you find this content helpful give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions about how to use the anima plugin put it in the comments below and i'll try my best to answer all your questions about this plugin or adobe xd if you haven't subscribed please consider doing it so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again in the next video